Good morning to all. Jesus Christ bless you all the time of your life. I'm Pastor Maria Guerrero. The teaching of this day, it's the second part. The last week was the first part of Daniel's book. Jesus, Lord of Lords, demonstrates his supernatural power all the time. This is in Daniel chapter 6, verses 1 to the end. The title is God Delivers Daniel from the Lions. And we started in verse 1. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. And over these three governors, of from who Daniel was one, that he satraps then give account to them so that the king would suffer no loss. Then this, Daniel distinguished himself above, above the governors, <coughs> the whole governors and satraps, because an excellent, excellent spirit. You know what the spirit? The spirit of God was in him. And the king gave to the setting him over the whole realm. So he was in charge. The said provincial governors, then the whole, the whole situation was terrible because they so find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no charge of fault because he was faithful. Nor was there any error following him. Daniel <coughs> performed his official duties blamelessly without error. What's supposed to be? We all have supposed to be that that kind of person. Then this man said, we shall not find any charge against his enemy unless he find it against him concerning the law of his God. Verse 6, so these governors and separates before the king Darius live forever, all they accuse Daniel of doing wrong things. And they asked their king to firm, could sign a decree that whoever petitions any good of men for 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. Can you imagine <clears throat> the accusation to put somebody in the den of the lions? Terrible, right? Then what happened? Daniel was the, without errors, without blame, without anything. Now, O king established the decree and signed the writing. They push in the king so that it cannot be changed according to the law. Because if he signed the decree, it has to be no other. Therefore, King Darius signed the greeting decree. He was kind of <coughs> doubt because he don't want to sign, but they push him to sign, force him, better say, to sign the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home, and in his upper room, this is very important, <coughs> with his windows open to Jerusalem, he kneeled down in his knees. That's the way we supposed to be all the time. But he, that day, he did three times that day. Prayer and gave thanks before <coughs> his God, as was his custom since early days. Daniel did not increase the prayer out of the hypocrisy, nor did the tribe. He was true. He was faithful. He was believing in God, only him, his protection, yes. And they went before the king and spoke concerning the king's decree. Have you not signed a decree that every man who, who petitions any good of men within 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered it and said, they think it's true according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which did not alter. So 
Once he signed the decree, it has to be accomplished. So they answer and say before the king, that Daniel who is one of the captives from Judah does not show the regard for you, O king, or for the decree that you have signed, but makes the petition three times a day. The conspirators first tried to arouse the king's suspicion against Daniel as a foreign. They made their change in disloyalty, which is not true. And the king, when he heard these words, was greatly displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. He wasn't happy to, to sign that. He signed the decree because, because they pushed him, the governors and all the people, pushed them in the accusation to Daniel. Then this man approached the king and said to the king, No, king, that is the law of the Medes and Persians, that no decree or a statute which the king establishes may be changed. To lay, the king recognized his sign. So he cannot rebuke that. So the king gave the command and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, Your God, your God, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Do you believe in God? He delivered you from any situation, from any tribulation, from any, any sickness in your life, anything. For him is nothing impossible. A remarkable statement. Then a stone was brought and laid in the mouth of the den, and the king sealed with his own ring and the rings of every one of the lords, that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. Now the king went to this palace and spent the night fasting, and no musicians were brought before him, that used to be every night. Also, he's asleep. So he was guilty, he feels guilty in his conscience to sign that decree to throw Daniel into the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried out with the lantern, but this is very important, with the lantern voice to Daniel. The king spoke saying to them, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to deliver you from the lions? Between faith and fear, he was saying these words. Then Daniel said to the king, O oh, king, live forever. My God, this is a confession, beautiful confession. My God sent his angel and shoot the lion's mouth so that they had no hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O King, I have done no wrong before you. You know what does this mean? We are protected for the most high priest in the world and the universe. If you are innocent, he is the only one can find you innocent of anything, even though you have enemies, you have accusers, or somebody say this and that. No, this is a proof. He is a supernatural power. Our God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ defend us from any blasphemy, from any accusation, from any sickness, from anything. Nothing is impossible for him. He is God. Now the king was exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury, whatever it was found in him, because he believed in his God as we do. You know, if you believe in God, everything is accomplished. Just trust in him. He will do anything in his time. Just 
trusting him, believing him, and wait upon the Lord. And the king gave the command, and they brought those men who had accused Daniel. This is a testimony not to take revenge, no. And they cast them into the den of lions. You know why? Because God permitted that to the accuser. If somebody accuses you, you or you, just wait upon the Lord. Put anything in God's hands. And He will do the right thing for you, for me, and for everyone who believes, who believes in Him. This is the testimony of Daniel's. This is a beautiful book. And then cast the whole family of the of the governors and the wives and brought all the bones and pieces, the lions, before they ever came to the bottom of the den. Jesus says, All things, remember this. Jesus said, All things are possible to him who believes. Just believe the King Darius wrote to all people, nations and languages that dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied to you. Peace. Now we need peace in the world. Right now I are the stress in the world. We need peace. Peace is the world for the whole universe. I make a decree in every dominion. There is the king saying, in my kingdom, men must tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. That's the truth. Yes, that's the truth. We tremble and fear because he's the master. He is the only one. He is the living God. His kingdom and the one which shall not be destroyed and steadfast forever and forever and forever. A similar declaration of faith was decreed by King Nebuchadnezzar, remember the last week? He delivers and rescues us and he works signs and wonders like right now in heaven and on earth, who has delivered Daniel from the power, from the power of the lions. <coughs> so this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian, who is the same. He named it two names, Darius and Cyrus. To conclude, Father, Son, Holy Spirit are the Trinity, and they are one God only one God only. Jesus, the Son of God, is our Savior. Jesus is our friend. Jesus is our advocate in every trial and tribulation. If you want to receive Jesus Christ in your heart today, let's pray this prayer. Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm repenting of all my sins I did against you. Thank you for this opportunity to save my life and be different and believe and believe in you only in you, Jesus Christ, because you are my Savior. Thank you again for this opportunity. Receive Jesus in your heart today. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I confess I receive in my heart today. Thank you again. Amen.